Could you give up sugar for seven days? Not natural sugars that are found in fruits and vegetables and dairy, but added sugars. The kind manufacturers put in cakes and muffins and jelly beans and soft drinks and sauces and... Did I say jelly beans? According to the World Health Organization, the daily recommended intake of sugar should not exceed 25 grams or around 6 teaspoons for women and 38 grams or 9 teaspoons for men. But with a 600 ml bottle of Coke containing 64 grams or 15 teaspoons of the stuff, it's not hard to exceed these figures. In fact, many of the top 10 sugar consuming countries devour more than double the WHO's daily recommendations. And all this added sugar increases the risk of health issues including obesity, heart disease and tooth decay. One. Are you telling me? So, armed with this knowledge and the promises gleaned from an excellent YouTube video from Dr. Berg. Number one, you are going to lose your appetite to sugar. Number two, you're going to be less hungry. All right, number three, you're going to have less fatigue. All right, number four, you're going to lose excessive water and fat. Number five, enhanced mood. Okay, number six. Your skin is going to look much better. All right, number seven, you have less stiffness. But lacking the patience to commit to 14 days, I, a self-confessed sweet tooth, set myself the challenge of going sugar-free for seven days. I'm up and at it early. Off for a run with a dog in the neighborhood. And uh, it's going to be an interesting week. It's going to be uh, probably a pretty difficult week in some parts as I try to work on this uh, seven day sugar detox. But I'm sure I'll feel a lot better in the end. Now let's go inside and just see how much I weigh at the start of the week, at the start of this uh, sugar free challenge. All right, so lunchtime now on uh, the first day of my uh, sugar free challenge. And I've, uh, I've got a pretty Plain, boring looking lunch. Got some rice cakes with some Vegemite in them. Got some fruit there as well. And uh, that's not the hard part. The hard part is I just come back from the service station and they just had so much sweet food there. Chocolate bars and, and buns and cakes and everything. And even things that you wouldn't think actually have um, sugar in them. Stuff like dip and, uh, and cheeses and stuff. I've got, sh I've got added sugar, so I've had to avoid them. My stomach is rumbling. I'm really glad I actually found some of this ham here, which will sort of hopefully tide me through until dinner time. One day down and uh, I've eaten a lot of rice cakes today and a few veggies, tomatoes, carrots, that kind of thing. So drank lots of water. I think I spent half of my time today looking at food packets to see if there's any sugar on there and uh, you'd be surprised what foods have sugar in them. Anyway, one day down, six days to go. Wish me luck. It's day two, feeling pretty good to start off the second day, but uh, we'll see how it goes later on. I got a bit tired of eating rice cakes by late last night for dinner and lunch. We'll see how we go today. I may be fully sick of them and fully over them by nightfall. <laughs> Right, only a two and a half K run this morning, but still feeling pretty good, even though it's been raining, raining a little bit this morning. Now let's go inside and let's check out the scales and see if I've lost any weight from my first 24 hours of going sugar-free. So it's uh, day two of this uh, sugar-free food challenge. Yeah, getting a bit over rice cakes and bland stuff like, you know, butter and, you know, Vegemite and ham. Um, really try, it's really really hard to try and find sugar-free foods at the store, at the grocery store. It seems like everywhere you go, you are going to see sugar everywhere. It's just bursting out from the moment, bursting out from every corner, from the moment you walk into the store, pretty much, until the moment that you check out. Like even the checkout counter, there's like Snickers bars and Mars bars everywhere, and there's that temptation. But I'm trying to stay, trying to stay strong, although it's really really hard, and I feel like I'm hungry all the time. Hopefully this will get better as the week goes on. Oh, 
Okay, so Wednesday morning, day three of my sugar-free diet for this week. Just finished a 3K run with the mutt around the neighborhood. So I'm feeling okay now, but I was very tired when I woke up this morning, so not sure whether that's the start of withdrawals. I hear that uh, day three is often the hardest day to get through on this um, crazy challenge. So I'll see how I'm feeling a little bit later on this afternoon. My daughter hasn't been helping, by the way. Last night she waved a muffin and part of a Kit Kat in front of me trying to, you know, tempt me in her evil ways, but I'm staying strong so far. So here we go, roll on day three. Okay, so it's getting pretty hard trying to find stuff without sugar in it. I spent half my time at the store looking at the labels and everything. So today I've uh, relented and I've got a salad, which is probably the most boring looking salad you've ever seen. <laughs> from Subway, but Lisa's got lots of greens in it, lots of healthy food, and most importantly, no sugar. So this will be part of my lunch. I am starving. It's one thing about this, uh, about this challenge, I'm always freaking hungry. Drinking a lot of water, but I'm always freaking hungry. How many days to go again? Today's been a weird kind of day. I've kind of felt like I've been like lacking energy uh, for a lot of it a little bit run down, a little bit worn out. I am eating a lot of better foods though, I've got to say that, like things like omelets and cherry tomatoes and salads and that kind of thing. So I'm sure that's working well for my body. And uh, I'm not really craving sugar or sweet things right now, which is really strange. So maybe things are changing, maybe my taste buds are changing a little. I just smashed half a pineapple for dinner tonight. It was so, so good. I needed a bit of a, a sweet fix. And I got it from something natural, which is much better than, you know, dipping your hand into a bag of candy and just filling your face with junk and more sugar. Feeling kind of tired and lethargic. Haven't really come across that burst of energy that I heard about, which sort of happened around about day four. Although I didn't have the cravings that I heard about on day three either. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Hoping that the burst of energy appears sometime soon. I did have uh, softball training last night as well, which is probably contributing to my tiredness, I guess, but just taking it nice and easy this morning. Not, no run, just a nice little walk with the dog to kickstart the day. I do feel like my body is operating a bit differently though. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm always hungry normally. And uh, that could be because I've just eaten mainly rice cakes for the last few days and not much else. But yeah, let's just see how day number four goes and uh, see what it brings. All right, uh, it's Wednesday lunchtime. All right, I'm losing track of the days. I'm not eating enough. <laughs> it's Thursday lunchtime and uh, once again, I've uh, hit up the local subway as I try to continue on my sugar-free quest uh, I'm really going to keep that store in, in business, I reckon, the way I'm going this week. Another awesome looking salad, which I'm dying to smash right now. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's getting challenging, it's getting tiring. I don't have that burst of energy, I feel a little bit lethargic. And I think when you're running on what feels like little food, it's kind of hard to sort of just keep at 100 k's an hour when you want to travel 100 k's an hour. Other than that, I'm doing okay, surviving, my weight's staying consistent, so there's some good stuff uh, going on there. Thursday, Thursday night, um, feeling, feeling pretty tired, feeling pretty worn out, feeling like, yeah, just lethargic, um, kind of lacking energy, had a nice omelette with salmon in it for dinner tonight. That was really good. And before it, I was working at a Christmas market and I did eat a sausage, which I don't think has any sugar, and a piece of white bread, which probably has a little bit of sugar in it. Just feeling kind of zapped with energy and tired. Is this withdrawal symptoms? I don't know. Maybe in the past I've used sugar as a bit of a, a bit of a crutch to kind of tell myself that I needed it to 
pep myself up or get myself through the next challenge or task. Don't really need it. Woke up feeling pretty tired, but right now, part of the way through my run, I actually feel pretty good. I feel like I've been sleeping probably a little bit better this week with uh, less sugar in my system. And I don't have any pangs of hunger for sugar or sweet products or anything like that, which is really interesting. So uh, yeah, heading into the weekend, feeling all right. The dog, well, he's just happy to be outside. He doesn't need no sugar anyway. That's a two and a half kilometer run down, just kick off uh, Friday. Me and the dog, for those who had a haircut, my wife got him trimmed yesterday. Feeling pretty good. I know it's a Friday morning, the sun's shining, the wind is blowing. But uh, yeah, I feel like I've got some good energy going on today as we head into the weekend. Let's rush inside right now and uh, see what the weight score is. Fifth day on this sugar-free challenge. And I uh, just played some softball, but didn't do so great. I'm really kind of lacking the energy. Struggling to try and find the right balance of diet without any sugar in it. And um, so this is my dinner tonight, or well, most of it anyway, a couple of apples. Because really becoming just super suspicious of everything having sugar in it, or added sugar. I'm feeling like my pants are a bit looser as well, so that's a good thing. I racked up, I've racked up two and a half Ks I've lost this week from this crazy diet. I think that's a good thing. But uh, the energy level, I've got to say, is kind of dropping. Felt awesome this morning, but now at the end of the day, yeah, I can just sort of feel feel a bit more drained. I'm sure it's been good for my body. I'm sure my body is quietly saying thank you. But uh, but me, I'm um, just hoping to get through the next two days happy and not enormously hungry like I was earlier today. I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Sounds like a song title. Um, Yes, yeah, so things are kind of cruising along pretty well. Been a bit tired, but uh, that could also be due to do with all the softball and the sport and stuff that myself and my family have been involved with over the past few days. But overall, um, I feel like my body is probably working better than it normally does. Um, my digestive system is definitely working a lot better than it normally does. Um, it's kind of almost like my body is thankful that I'm making these changes of cutting out all these foods. I'm still living off mainly things like chicken and avocado and rice cakes. The One of the weirdest things is I thought I'd be craving stuff. Like I thought I'd be craving stuff like jelly babies or jelly beans or fruit chocks or I don't know, energy drinks, but it's not really been that way at all. It's almost like my body's kind of happily detoxing from all this crap that I've been putting into it over the past little while. I'm kind of getting my, my sweet tooth fix out of things like um, peaches and pineapple, like fruits, so I'm not really kind of missing that that sweet food um, thing that I thought I would. So it's actually been pretty enlightening, so only one more day to go after today, and uh, yeah, it's it's been an interesting transformation. It's day seven of my seven day sugar-free challenge, Sunday, and it's 35 degrees, just been running around playing softball. Um, actually feeling pretty good as I'm coming to the end of this seven day challenge, which is pretty awesome. Uh, body's feeling pretty good, not really lusting after sugar, not really feeling like a muffin or a cake or anything. It's pretty interesting the way I feel like my whole system's kind of changed quite a bit the last seven days. I'm kind of feeling healthier, although Dinner time, meal time is still a bit of a scramble. You know, I still feel like I'm currently 80% rice cakes right now after eating so many this week. But still trying to find stuff with like no added sugar at the store is pretty hard. But uh, powering along and uh, interested to see what the final results will be tomorrow at the end of this challenge. Well, okay, I guess I made it. I made it to the end of my seven day sugar-free challenge. And I've got to admit that it wasn't always easy. In fact, some parts were tougher than I imagined they would be. 
But one of the toughest parts, of course, was trying to find foods which have almost no added sugar in them. Sometimes I would be absolutely ravenous to eat food when I did find the right foods that I could eat, like chicken and avocado, and of course my very favorite rice cakes, which I think I must have eaten six or seven times out of the last seven days. So once I started to find my balance and the foods that sort of fitted what I was looking for over the course of the week, especially in my daily $5 Subway salad lunch, veggie salad lunch, avocado veggie delight, I started to get more comfortable with it and I got more in the groove. And it wasn't the same kind of craziness or that same kind of um, ravenous state that I found myself in earlier. So, so that was like a real, um, a real godsend. And I think what I've learned from this week is that although I don't need sugar in my diet, there are ways to get your sugar fix or your sweet tooth fix like I have uh, in other ways. Like I can't tell you how amazing that pineapple was I ate a couple of days ago or the flavor of mandarins. I've really been enjoying them much more over the last couple of days. And even when I eat a salad, I really, really enjoy it so much more than I was when I was eating more sweet things like cakes and candy and lollies and Kit Kats. Another thing which has really surprised me is um, how much weight I've lost over the last seven days. Like, I'm a pretty active guy. I go running, I play softball. I don't sort of really you know, spend too much time sitting around and loafing on the couch. But the fact that I lost nearly three Ks in one week is pretty incredible. I think from this point on, I'll be much more careful with what I put in my body because now I know the impact. You know, I'm three Ks lighter than what I was last Monday and it feels good. Like that's definitely a positive out of this whole process. And another thing is, I think my body is running better too because I'm not eating so much junk or so much sugar. Um, I feel like, I don't know, it's my digestive system has been working better. It's breaking down foods better. The fact I'm drinking basically only water, I think has really, really helped as well. Yeah, this was a good, good experience, a good experience to get back in touch with fruits and vegetables and more of the, the natural foods in your life that sometimes you just um, askew because you just think you'll get you know, a Mars bar or a bag of jelly beans or maybe a cake, which sounds like fast food, but really, is it any match for a great pink lady apple or a banana or a spectacular mandarin or a slice of pineapple? Hey, I don't really think so. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you got some value out of it and maybe even learnt a few things along the way like I definitely have this week. And if you did get any value, please give it a big old thumbs up or even hit that subscribe button, that'd be really great too. If you like, like what you've seen in this video, make sure you check out some more of the stuff that's here on my channel. I think you might enjoy it too. As always, thanks for your company and until next time, see you later.